Welcome to Sinesta ES Suites, also known as the Residence Inn. It's a little bit different than what we have been experiencing here in New Orleans, but I would say it's, it's workable. In this room, unlike our last room, which was built for fun, is built for work. You know you're thinking, a hotel room built for work? What kind of working could happen in that hotel room? Well, peep your eyes on this desk over here. It's a perfect place to sit there and type on a laptop to your heart's content while looking down at the buses in the parking garage across the street. Ooh. Unlike our other place, which just had a kitchen fridge, we have a kitchen fridge, we had a stovetop and a microwave and a dishwasher, and probably some other kitchen accoutrement that will uh, allow us to what cook here. Okay. And you know what they also got? Oh, a stiff bed. Oh. I heard that. <laughs> it looks pretty, but... I did not expect that. <laughs> <laughs> it was a, a lot harder than I thought it would be. Oh. Pretty stiff bed. It's alright, it's good to go back. Um, makes you want to go home. Very standard bathroom. Standard. Electric mirror. Well, so, why are we staying here? Because this is the show hotel that my company booked. Yeah, so it's free. Yeah, uh, mind you, um, the difference between the room that we were in versus this room is $10 per night. Yeah. So, I'm just saying, $10 goes a long way. Yeah, <laughs> in New Orleans. <laughs> Beignet number two. A cafe beignet, name four. I have to say, I liked the other ones better. Is it right that they are the most famous? Maybe. After doing the necessary comparison of beignets, which again, most famous for a reason, uh, but uh, I have eaten my weight in beignets and I am now going to walk down in the rain in on Royal Street, I think, but uh, see what there is to see. problem like I still feel awkward videotaping myself in public especially when alone so while there's sort of videotape of me eating those beignets like the actual real life like battle of the beignets I'm gonna have to talk about here which is this so Cafe du Monde has long ass lines to get in to get them uh, but for a reason because I really do think they're better now the first one I had was like extra crunchy and it felt like an accident really but uh, the the actual beignets that I had there were a little more doughy they had uh, like a, a, a denseness but not too dense to them that I enjoyed more than I enjoyed cafe beignets those were still great. I mean, how can you get away from loving a donut plus uh, 
powdered sugar. I mean, that's delicious. But um, I'm going to have to say that if I'm going to give you one place to go, it's going to say, I'm going to say, like, wait in the long ass line, even if it's in the heat, for Cafe du Monde. There is more than one location. So it might be less of a line if you don't go to the main one and you go to one a little farther down on uh, from the French Quarter, the main area of the French Quarter. Um, but definitely try Café de Mons for, uh, or Beignets because that's going to be the best choice. Also, wandering around the French Quarter, I'm going to tell you, I in my mind, the French Quarter was something like um, diagonally in my mind. Like just, it was going to be really close together. I guess maybe sort of European and brick-like and uh, it's not quite like that. It's sort of more Disneyland-like than I expected. It has lots of different quaint little shops, um, and it's pretty touristy, but I, I still find it really charming. I definitely recommend going to the French Quarter if you come to New Orleans. It's a don't, a don't miss, you know, can't miss. But also, as any local here will tell you, Travel off of Bourbon Street just a little bit. The, the next street over is Royal Street, which I saw, and I liked some of their stuff more than I liked Bourbon Street stuff. Uh, and then, of course, we went to Frenchman Street the other night, and that had more horns than you'll find on Bourbon Street. Bourbon Street tends to have a lot of fairly young-looking kids playing drums that are actually buckets. <laughs> I can't say that doesn't make me feel slightly uncomfortable. Like, are they earning a living for their family? I know that's got to happen, but it's sad. Bourbon Street, yay. Sometime when you're traveling, you're doing cool and amazing adventure stuff, like petting alligators. And sometimes you're going to Walmart. So I suppose I will look at this as how is the Louisiana Walmart different than a California Walmart? We'll see. Also, I have a blister on my toe and I need a band-aid. So, Walmart. He needs shoes. Le shoes. Le shoes. Le shoes does not mean shoes. Le shoes is something. Yeah. Walmart. Nope, just a Walmart. Not the same everywhere you go. My husband is so nice. He puts band-aids on my toe. Taste of New Orleans. We've got Red beans. It's rice. Rice. No, that's, Didn't that's miss jambalaya. me. That's jambalaya. It's red beans and rice. Red beans and rice. What is this? It's shrimp creole. Shrimp creole. What is this? Etouffee. I don't know. Yeah, that's etouffee. I can't do that. Etouffee. And then Chris has shrimp and grits again. Sometimes you get hooked into the tourist traps. I'm just gonna say, don't go here. It wasn't great. It happens. My husband chose the place. That's usually why things like this happen. I'm making fun of them. It's fine. We're gonna go see what else is going on. He's walking away from me because I have offended him. He's offended. Come back, sir. The food offended Come back, me. sir. That place offended me. That was not um, Creole or what do you call it? 
Cajun, uh, Cajun or Creole. Creole. Yeah. The only thing that was good was the red beans and rice. And good. red beans and rice are hard to pep up, right? Listen, if you haven't had some good... I mean, hell, Popeye's has good red beans and rice. It's Popeye's. They don't have yeah. anything good. Yeah. Or churches. Churches has great yeah. red beans and rice. Yeah. So, but um, sometimes your... Uh, what was it? Shrimp Creole? Creole? What? Creole? What was the thing that was just ketchup and shrimp? Oh, shrimp Creole? Sometimes your shrimp Creole is literally shrimp ketchup. Shrimp ketchup. Don't don't fall for that. Yeah, and, yeah. And, and sometimes your shrimp or your crawfish etouffee is literally just some gravy with a couple of rice grains in it. Yeah. Don't fall for it. I had no idea. I fall for it. But now I know. And and now you know. So don't go there. Sometimes a beignet is just a donut. <laughs> oh, it's pretty though. simple parking area is pretty amazing around here. Thank <laughs> you. 
What do you do when you're like hanging out in a foreign land slash Louisiana slash that's a foreign land to me. Uh, you hang out on a stoop, but it's not like it's somebody's house. I mean, it may be, but the door in front of it is not a real door. It's a stoop to nowhere, as my husband has said. We're on a stoop to nowhere. Hey. 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 Um, yeah, so we're deciding what we're going to do. Here's the thing. We've done a night in Bourbon Street. We did a night in Frenchman Street. We just don't know if we need to do another night in those streets. Plus, plus there's lightning and it's going to rain soon. So you, know, you can do whatever you like. Thank you! Thank you! Then again, you can do whatever you like.